hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, the Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to show you how you can view a single file in Git's change history. So here's my repository over on GitHub, and here is that repository on my local file system. The single file I'm going to look at is this devo.html file, and over on GitHub you can actually look at the history by simply clicking on this history link right there, and you can see this is a listing of all of the different commits for that devo file, and you can click on any of these, update devo.html, and it tells you that, well, in this file they added line 3, And it looks like on this line they deleted lines 4 and 5 and replaced them with these two lines and specifically looks like we added a comma and added the word tails instead of stales. So that's one way you can look at a file's version history but usually when people are interested in doing things with git they're interested in doing it at the command line. So I'm going to open up my git bash shell here and I'm going to do a little ls file so you can see I've got devo.html right there. And one of the ways that I like to look at a file's history is to go git k dash dash follow dash dash follow is important. It'll work without that, but if your git file has been renamed, it might not find information about the rename. So add the dash dash follow in, and then you just put the path to the file. That's just devo.html here. And now you'll see that this tool comes up, that uh, it's a git, the git GUI tool that shows me all of the history of different commits. So you can see right here, we created devo.html, looks like it was on the cool new feature branch. Then we added a line, you can see the green plus there for a line added. Updated a file, more updates, looks like this line was deleted or at least replaced with this line here. That line wasn't touched, these lines were added. And it looks like we switched to the bug fix branch, so notice we've got a, a new branch there some punctuation and spelling, so some lines change, some lines updated, and then a couple of commits here. Looks like we switched to the lyrical fix here, where we deleted these two lines and replaced them with these lines and a few extra lines as well. And then you can go on. You can see first stanza complete, lyrical release branch, we merged into main, so you can actually see right here, it tells me that I guess we were happy with our code when we changed it to devo from devo without the dashes. Um, we were happy, so we did a merge into the main branch, and there we go. I guess after going to the main branch, somebody said that that was a classic song, and it was changed. Also, we can see that it was created by Cameron but most of the updates were done by Jeeves. It looks like the merge and the additional commit was done by Cameron as well. So all pretty interesting stuff. It's a nice way to go and look at the history of an individual file. Now, that's not purely command line. I did trigger that from the command line, but I guess theoretically any program can be triggered by the command line. Uh, a couple of other ways you can look at a file. I like to go git log and then I like to use the one line switch and you can just provide the name of the file, so devo.html. And this will tell you a nice little one line history of all of the commits and the branches that that file was on. So they created the branches, changed the bug fix, changed the lyrical fix, changed their lyrical release and then merged into main. So that's interesting. Uh, it doesn't give you information on what changes were made, so you can actually get the git log to go even deeper. So I like to do this, git log, always do the follow, dash p, and then say devo.html. And now, going right to the start, where was this file created? You can see that it was created Monday, October 4th. That is it in head. Looks like it is finished there. Somebody's added the words classic. So this is the most recent commit to it. So that's not where it was created. This is the finished. So we are on head. Uh, the head is on main. And then we can go back in time a little bit. Looks like we were on the lyrical release and that was the dash edit that was done by Jeeves. Remember the merge was done by Cameron. Then it tells us that we added a few lines of code devo, and then again you could just keep going through all of the different commits that happened over time. You 
can find out what the commit message was. That would be that there. You can see what the changes were. It looks like they deleted that line, added these two lines. We can also see the name of the person that did the commit, which was Jeeves, which looks like it actually happened over on the GitHub server. And of course, you can just enter away, and then you'll actually see the entire history of that file. A little colon Q gets you out of there. And now you have monitored and looked at the entire history of the file. So there you go. That's uh, one way to do it is just doing git log follow dash p and then the name of the file. Git k, that'll bring up the git GUI tool. And then finally, if you're using GitHub or GitLab, you can always come over here, click on the online tab and see what was changed and what was deleted. And there you go. That's a little insight on how to look at the history of a file that's being managed by Git. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great stuff on Git, GitHub, GitLab, DevOps tools, you name it. Lots of stuff on enterprise software development as well. So check it out. Uh, if you want to follow my personal antics, I'm on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please subscribe on the YouTube.